Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. So let's get started. Let's create a new profile, or a new file, a new game at the top of the screen. And let's put in any name we want, it doesn't really matter, it just means that the file will be named. It doesn't change anything else that's in the game, I don't think. So let's go ahead and do that. Just like that, and now we're done, and we can start. Help! So it starts fairly normal for a Mario game with Peach getting taken by Bowser and Mario in pursuit. But let's get started because this is an RPG which means that whenever we walk into an enemy or they walk into us, just basically we touch an enemy, we go into a battle. So, whilst we move around with the d-pad obviously, uh, but we have four buttons that we can press to do things in a battle which is X for items, B for etc. Uh, which B has defense and run, but we can't run in this fight. Uh, but defense means that we'll we'll spend a turn just taking as little damage as possible, I guess. Uh, but also we can do A for regular attacks, which means that we can choose an enemy to 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 hit with our regular attack, which is marked by the arrow pointing at them. Uh, but if we press the attack button at the right timing as we hit an enemy, we also do more damage, but unfortunately we can't actually do that just yet because the game has to teach us first. But it's fine, we've also got Y for special attacks, which we have a jump. We also have a limited amount of FP to spend, which is the 10 out of 10 that we have there. Each special move ha uh, requires a different amount of flower points, FP, uh, which jump requires 3 FP, so let's use that. Which we probably shouldn't, considering we're in the middle of just a regular fight at the very beginning of the game. Uh, it'll be much more useful later on. You also have our health at the top of the screen, which is 19 out of 20 currently because we just took a hit. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. We should, but we should try not to spend FP in the first few fights. We get XP from winning fights and sometimes coins as well, depending on how strong we are compared to the opponent we're fighting. We will usually get good stuff. But I believe also at the moment, these fights are just here to introduce us to fighting. Whenever we've had our turn attacking the enemy, they'll have their turn. And sometimes they can miss, apparently, so that's good for us. Let's just go right at it. There's quite a few fights here at the very beginning. Let me just take them out all one by one. Also, I like the way that they pop into stars whenever they die. If we die, we go back to the last save, which we haven't actually saved yet, so... If we die, we go back to the very beginning. You can also dodge most fights unless they're directly in our path. And since these fights at the very beginning don't really have anything for us, it's probably best to just avoid them by jumping over them, but since when, when we're out of battles, we can also press B to jump. Just like that. So, let's go through here carefully. I don't think there's anything on this path that we need to worry about, so let's go through here. Oh, there goes the bridge. And here we are. And there's Peach up there.
And now it's time to fight Bowser. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. But we don't want to focus our attacks on Bowser. We actually want to focus our attacks on the the kink link behind him, which is basically just a chain chomp holding up the, the chandelier that he's on. So let's do that. 10 damage. If we also press the A button when an enemy do does their attack, we can also block, which will deflect, like, which will stop most of their attack from getting through. Have to time it right though, otherwise it doesn't work. I actually got the hits right in that one. It's also not explaining me how to do it, because I think this is the point in the game where it's supposed to t teach you. Quite possibly, I might be wrong. Mario, the chain! Aim for the chain! Okay. Let's do it. Whenever you get a, a timing down right, there will usually be a different animation to show that you did more damage or blocked it. Also, sometimes there will also be an extra sound effect to show that you did it correctly. But that's probably later on. But there we go. What was that sound? No, no, no! It's a chain reaction! Hang on, Kink Link. Yeah! Coming, Mario. Fight, Mario. Fight. This should finish you. Mwaha! Did you think I was just gonna give her to you? You're always in my way. This is it. I'm going- I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Fah! Foiled again! This is a tall room. Oh, Mario. You had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Mario! I'm gonna fall! I can see my house from here. Very conveniently on the wall right next to our other clothes, set of clothes, apparently. Anyway. Hey, Mario! Lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came by to pick up Toadstool, since she's a bit late. Cool. Anyway, let's jump off the wall, so that we'd be. We can also jump on the bed and bounce off of it. Whenever we were bouncing on the bed, you just keep bouncing and keep moving in the whatever direction you're facing as well, so... Uh, but anyway, we can also press A on the light he here to turn it off, and sleep in the bed, which I believe recovers our health and FP, probably. We might have already recovered our health and FP though, we can check on this screen here in the items, I believe. Yeah, we've got 10 out of 10 and 20 out of 20 HP. We're also level 1, so, gonna have to do something about that. Tell me, Toad, what is, what's happening out here? Hey, I thought the princess was with here with you, Mario. Where- so where is she? Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back, like you always do? Sure. I'll- I'll do that. 
Also, we can stand on top of his head, apparently, as well, so that's cool. But anyway, over here is a save block, so let's jump on top of that, and let's save our file. Just like that. And actually, I might also save over the other file. There we go. So now, we can also go out this path over here to continue. And now we're on the world map, so let's follow this path back up here to Bowser's Keep. And go back to Bowser's Keep. Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser! This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first step towards taking over this world. And if you weren't if it, if it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world. So let's see how you deal with this. Well, the bridge to uh, Bowser's castle is destroyed now, so we can't go back there. We can go back to Vista Hill, which is where we can actually just look at the castle. Just have this cutscene play again, basically. Uh, but anyway, let's head back to Mario's pad, because that's all we can do. Also, the music in this game is amazing. Don't need to save, probably. Might in a minute, though. Hey, Toad, what you looking at? What, what, what you looking at? You're back so soon? Did you forget something? No? What happened, then? The bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now. Just wonderful. We must inform the Counselor, or the Chancellor, of Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Okay, Toad, I'll follow you. Well, this is an interesting start to a Mario game, considering we're now on a different journey than we were before. I mean, we already beat Bowser, so it's basically not even a Mario game anymore. Oh, hey, Toad. Oops, excuse me. Oh. That bump on your head to reduce your HP level. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you all right up. Received a mushroom. Do you know how to use items? Uh, I have I have no idea. Please teach me. Ahem. Then please allow me. In order to use items, open up the menu screen with X. With it, you can check your status and coin count. Push X to open it. This is the menu. Use it to equip or use items. Choose item. Then press A. This is your item list. Read about items here. To use a mushroom. Point here and push A. Behold! It, it moves to Mario. Push A again to use it. I'm my my I'm this voice is dying very quickly. Or push B to cancel. Give it a try. Okay, so let's go into items. Mushrooms, like that, and use it on Mario. See, you recovered your HP. You also don't have a limited space in our inventory to hold items and equipment, so... We can't go crazy on getting items and equipment and stuff, so... And that's how it's done. Now you can get a boost whenever you're feeling... Feeling tired. Uh, now why did I rush back? I had... Something to tell you. Ah, I remember. I came to warn you that M Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about timed hits? No. Okay, allow me to explain. First, we'll enter battle. First, push A. And select an enemy. Push A again to attack. Wait a second. Hit A again here. At this specific point in the animation. And Mario does an extra double punch. Good timing. When successful, successful your attack changes and damage increases. Hit A prior to attack 2. See Mario does a little dodge there and he 
takes no damage. Good timing. This can help you decrease the amount of damage done to you. It won't always work though. Now try a special strike. Okay, jump. And just bouncing off the Goomba, press Y here. Your attack will be more powerful. Learn special skills. As you, as you gain experience. There on the menu. Read about them, okay? Okay. And there you are. Now at least you have fighting a fighting chance against those monsters. Uh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. That's right. We needed to tell the chan uh, the chancellor about Toadstool. I'll see you over at the at Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. And we, but he gives us three mushrooms to start off. It's very kind of him. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and save since we probably don't want to go through the tutorial again. So, and we can go to the next area now, so... Let's go ahead, ahead and do that. Got some enemies here to fight, so let's go ahead and do that. Enemies can have multiple attacks and can drop coins or items or restores on their death. So whenever we hit them and take them out, you can see that oh, sometimes they drop coins. But sometimes they also drop items or extra effects when they die. Some enemies take more damage or less damage from different types of attacks. Attacks can also miss by you and, and your opponent, so you can also miss your opponent, basically. But there we go. Also, there's Toad over there in a corner behind, behind a Goomba. Anyway, let's go into a fight again. Now, we can also go to B and run away now. Sometimes we don't run, but... Because it's a, it's a, it's like a coin flip, basically. I don't know how it, exa I don't know if it's exactly a coin flip, but it's, it's, it's a random number generator. You know what I mean. Also, hang on, please, let me, <laughs> I'm trying to run. I'm gonna die. Let me take them out, actually, before I die. We can also use items in a fight. As you can see, he actually dropped a HP max on his death, though. Which actually restores all of our HP that we lost, so. If we run from a fight, though, we they're, they're not defeated, so we don't get XP and coins. But they will, and they won't be dead, so they'll still be there to refight if we want to. But it gives us a little bit of extra time to either avoid them or to um, heal ourselves and go back into the fight or whatever. It depends on what you want to do, but most of the time you're just probably going to go through a fight and be fine. So, probably need to press A a little bit later than I am pressing it right now. There we go, got some more XP. Ah, uh, there's a lot of enemies here, wow. Probably want to fight them all though. But this block here has coins in it, and if we keep jumping into it, we get more coins as well, so... Okay, I think I'm probably going to use jump on one of these... ...here. I don't think I did a good job of that. Just then, because it didn't bounce. Ah, uh, but I think... ...possibly, jumping on them might be more effective than... ...just punching them. Because each enemy has a different weakness, so... There we go. Take you out. I might need to heal. I got an extra mushroom, so I probably should heal. Hang on. Let me heal. There we go. We have mushrooms that heal 30 HP, and we only have 20 HP, so... It's probably worth it. But anyway, I'm gonna also take out this Goomba here. Since if we get enough XP from these fights, we'll also level up. Which will be good. There we go. Still not quite there yet, but there's still some more enemies to go through before we get to the end of this area. And this is only the first room of this area, so... Uh, now, do I want to jump again? Probably. I, it took me a little bit of time taking out the other enemies before. That did a lot of damage. Why did it... Why was it... Uh, why? I need to keep... No, I ran out of FP. Because I have one out of ten, and I need three, so I'm, I can't do anything about that at the moment. Oh boy. Ah. Please. Be good enough, thank you. Now oh, the mushroom, that's good. Probably should keep healing myself since I'm... I'm getting hit a lot at the moment. 
another coin block here. So just keep hitting it for more coins until it runs out. And let's save Toad, I guess we should. So, enemies also, just because I probably should explain this, whenever there's a, a text bubble at the top of the screen saying something, that's when an enemy is using their own special attack rather than their own regular attack. Which is important to know because special attacks... Because special attacks can usually do something different. Usually. So, just need to keep that in mind for later. But there we go. And I think with that... No, not quite. Phew, my life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. Got a honey syrup. A honey syrup is actually quite useful at the moment because what a honey syrup does is it recovers 10 flower points, so we can actually get our FP back from that. So there we go. Now we can actually do some more special attacks if we need to. Now, there's also a lot of enemies here that I'm going to take out because I need some XP. So let's do this. I'm not sure if I want to cut out fights eventually. I mean, it's not too much time, but it's still... It all adds up over time. I don't know. I'm just going to fight and see what happens. There are some also some other things that enemies can drop whenever they die as well, so I'm going to try and see if I can find some of those at some point here. But anyway, we got our first level up. Mario reaches level 2. All of our stats improve and refills HP and FP. Not all the time, though. Uh, it's mostly just HP, but I think FP, as we get further into the game, won't always refill. Also, we get to choose an extra increase to one of our stats, power, HP, and FP. We get more of a stat less often, uh, the less often we pick it uh, as we level up. The pattern you should follow is, if your level is divisible by 3, pick power, which it is not currently. If your level has a remainder of 1 when divided by 3, pick HP. Uh, if your level is, has a remainder of 2 when it's divided by 3, pick FP. Uh, this way we get 2 extra attack instead of 1, if we get it right. Uh, and also, 4 extra HP instead of 3. And three extra magic, I think FP, possibly other, or maybe just stat increase, uh, instead of one. It also, if we select one, it shows us what the stat increase is, uh, if we do it. But we can also press B to cancel out of it, which is good, so I actually can see which one actually is the best. Which, at the moment, as you can see, is actually, I think, HP and magic? I might be wrong about that, hang on. Give me a second. Uh, it's actually FP that's the best one. There's the- there's a whole li like, yeah. I, I need to follow the d divisible stuff that I just said. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, so anyway, let's pick FP because that's going to give us a 3 increase. The uh, HP one's only going to give us a, a 3 HP increase instead of a 4 HP increase. I hope I explained that well enough, but now we have more health as well by default just because of leveling up. We don't need to pick an extra stack, but we can. Uh, our special attacks, or, and our regular attacks also get better as we level up because of stat increases. Uh, but now, let's go ahead and take out these Goombas. 40 HP. We're doing strong attacks now. Just from that one level up. We're somewhat stronger. I'm probably gonna just avoid some of these enemies now that I have done that level up. Uh, but now if we go to, I think, the status screen. We can actually look at Mario's stats, so we can see that it has 20 speed, 20 attack, 2 defense, 15 magic attack, and 5 magic defense. And it shows us also that XP to the next level is 19, or experience level is 19, and the next level is at 29, so we it's not that far away to the next level as well, so. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going. Oh no, maybe one of those was explaining what next level gives us a new special move? No, I'm thinking of a different thing, possibly. Hang on, let me let me go back to the screen and check the things. Uh, no. No, special. That's the special screen is the one I need to check. This one shows us when we get a new special skill. So, we've already got jump, but at level 3 we get a new technique as well, so... That's what I was trying to look at. I'm just... I'm going through the notes faster than they should be. Uh, but anyway, there's also these flower he flowers here that are, are platforms for us that we 
kind of don't need, but anyway. Uh, I actually want to probably look at the rest of this room before we move on to the next area. So let me do that. HP max, very nice. The better, the, the better time you have on your stuff, the more you damage you do and the less damage you take, so... I think? And no, it's probably just whenever you get it correct. It'll either be good or bad. Anyway. But now that we've taken out that Goomba, we can also stand on this spinning flower. We can see that Toad's up there. But first off, I'm gonna grab this item up here, which is a flower. Which I believe... Increased... Possibly our flower's FP? By default? Possibly? I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure if that was the level up or if that just... Was that what that is? I'm, I'm, I don't think I ever figured that out. Now is the time to figure it out, and I still haven't figured it out. But anyway, let's take out some more enemies so we can level up some more since we're not that far away from the next level. Very nice. He actually did a different move there, which missed, which is good. But there we go. Now let's go save Toad. Again. <sighs> toad, Toad, Toad. Come here. Oh, it's just the one? Okay. I will work with this. 95... That's a lot of damage. This early on in the game. Boy, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. And it gives us a flower tab. A flower tab is actually quite a good item. What it does is it raises flower points by one. That also refills our flower points to full. So we probably want to use this when we are out of flower points. So I'm going to leave that there for a little bit until I run out. And then hopefully we can get some good stuff. Also, hello, I'm going to fight you anyway. Get that mushroom. Let's take you out. Very nice. I mean, it's probably good to just fight all the enemies just so you can level up. It means that we'll be better off later on, but it's also going to scale depending on where we're up to in the game, so. Okay, let's move on. Now, I believe that these enemies here, I believe if we jump, or like try to jump on the spiky ones, doesn't do anything. So some enemies are immune to certain things, and some enemies are uh, weak to certain things. So we need to know which ones to which so we can actually do do things more effectively. But anyway, let's take you out. There we go. Oh, okay. Just breathing for a second. Oh, we can also fight the... Uh, what's it called? The Lakitu in the air that's spawning in the enemies. If we wanted to. I missed the timing. That's not good. There we go. It's not a whole lot to do, actually, at this point in the game, which is actually pretty good. All it is at the moment is just enemies, so... We also got some coins from that, which we can also see how many coins we have on this screen, underneath the flowers at the bottom of the screen. Also, I didn't see the... How did I not see the flower points there? It shows how many flowers we have. Anyway, we have 26 coins, which is a pretty, pretty, pretty good start. But anyway, over here is a hammer bro with Toad. Hey, are you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Toad! No, no, no. <laughs> I read the wrong thing. Mario, you better be careful. He's definitely got a, got a mean streak. Well, uh, goodbye, Toad. Now I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna save him. Now you've got my hammer angry. You should have. Ha you shouldn't have done that. Okay. Boss time. It's not a very tough boss, but there are two hammer bros that we need to take out, so let's do that. We can use jump to take care of you pretty quickly. Probably, if I do things correctly. Oh, hammer time. Can't dodge this, I don't think. Bunch of hammers throwing at us. I think I'm gonna use a mushroom. You know, that seems like a good plan. So that I don't die. Nice dodge. Hammer time again. Oh my goodness, that hits hard. Let me take one of you out if I can. Yep, there we go. 
Bosses drop a lot of coins as well for taking them out. Oh, Valor up. He's powering himself up now. Okay, let's take you out. Oh my goodness, Valor up actually raised his defense. Ooh, I should probably heal again. Just to be safe. Get a freebie? That means that any item that we used just now, we get an extra one, so we didn't actually use it up, basically. Which is good. That's another thing that you can get randomly. When you use an item. But there we go. Not quite. Please don't kill me. I didn't check how much health I have. Okay, I need to heal. Or I could hit him and hope that he, he dies. Because if he did the hammer throw again, it would be over for me. Since each time he does it, it's gonna hit me for eight damage, so. But there we go. I think that we're done. Not quite. Not quite. Come on. Surely. Yeah, there we go. He also gives us a flower jar for defeating him, which a flower jar is a better version of a flower tab, which increases our flower points by three. And again, we probably want to use it to refill our SP, no, our FP. Same thing. <laughs> we want to use it to refill our flower points. Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. Mushroom Kingdom is just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this camera come from? Hmm. Hey, do you know what this is? It has the Hammer Bros in insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you womp them with this. So we take that. You never know, it might come in handy. That's usually where you have a hammer, so... Let's get a move on. I'll see you in the Mushroom Kingdom. So there we go. And now, if we go to the equip screen, we can equip a weapon, an accessory, or an armor and an accessory. But there are, at the moment we only have a weapon, so let's give Mario the hammer, which increases his attack and gives him a different attack pattern when he does a regular attack. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.